Hello and welcome to Zarlor Iron Golem, my four cell iron golem farm. As you can see these steps lead down to the iron golem collection chamber which holds on to iron golems from all four of the cells. Let's go down and see how much iron we get. When you step on these pressure plates at the bottom here it opens those two pistons behind them with the lava behind it. This is about the uh, most efficient way to kill them since suffocation takes a longer time and uh, they can't drown and other methods like that don't work as well. It's a little bit loud. In a second here we'll see how much iron and how many flowers we get. 26, not too bad. Behind here are the, the passageways that push the iron golems along. As you can see, I can leave a half slab there and they still get pushed because the iron golems are actually two by two, so they stay in the water even though there's a gap there. This is the place they take where they take the turn as they come from a cell down there and one down there. As you can see, I had to go under the water here so you can actually see the cell up above. Let's go back to the other side and see if we can see any iron golems. None were coming down the uh, passageway at that time. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's some. There's usually a pretty regular flow of iron golems, so at any one time you'll see one or two in these passageways. It looks like these two got stuck. Uh, sometimes on the turn, if two of them come together at the same time, they just kind of get stuck there until another one comes along and pushes one out of the way. But since he's in the water, I can, and I'm not going to hit him, I can just kind of help him along. There you go. Let's go back down here and then uh, go back outside and see some of the cells up, up a little more closely. Oh, it's getting to be nighttime already. This is my sword tower and this is my main home. I put my home in the center of all this, these uh, iron golem farms so as I you know put stuff in my chest and crafted things or enchanted things um, I'd be able to uh, be spawning iron golems at the same time since I'm around here. There's one over there and one over here. As you can see I made them out of wood. People often complain that most of the grinders and things are ugly cobblestone boxes so I decided to try to make these look a little look a little better. I need my sword here. Let's take a look at one of these up a little more closely. When I started out, I put two villagers in each of the sides, and over time, some of the sides uh, emptied of villagers for some reason. But because there's enough doors around here, the villagers just bred in the remaining cells, like this one, the remaining little cage there. As you can see, the doors here are uh, on either side of the villagers, and there's some in here. Here's one of the places where the iron golem could spawn. There's this top level, and then there's a, a level below that's uh, water as well. And when they spawn in here, of course, they fall down right through the middle and go along these passageways that we saw when we were um, underneath before. And this is just a path they follow. Had to make the ceiling a little higher on the places where there were the half slabs because they were getting stuck. Let's uh, let's get back out here again. Here's some more. Got 
quite a bit of iron from this. But it seems like a lot of people on the server make this, so a lot of people on the server and the wooden axe have got quite a bit of iron. Some people are even trying to make their whole house out of iron. And that's about about it for the show. Um, I think we'll take a look at the live map next, and I can show you what it looks this looks like from the dynamic map for the wooden axe. Right here is Sword Tower, as you can see, and you can see the the water squares uh, of the four uh, iron golem spawners around them. And for the last bit, let's take a little uh, flight at night around and follow the path of the iron golem once more as he after they spawn and go through the water systems. I made each one of these about a hundred apart from the center so that they would be separated. Uh, if you make them too close together then they're not counted as separate villages of course so I wanted to make them a hundred apart just to be sure. I think you only need to make them 84 or so apart but didn't want to make a mistake I'm trying to move it later. Oh you can see the tunnel here at night from this one. Let's go back down through here where the iron golems go. There's Sword Tower.